Well, this year we don't have an official carnival, but the carnival must live on. And now I'm going to be chatting with legendary artist Donald Jackie Hinkson, who uh, we're going to speak about a carnival exhibition. And you can actually go down and see it now. So let's welcome to the Now Morning Show, Donald Jackie Hinkson. Good morning and welcome. Thank you very much. Glad <laughs> to be here. I'm not sure about the legendary part, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you for being with us this morning. I really appreciate it. So, you know, no carnival this time around, as in the way that we are accustomed to it. But you are celebrating carnival through art with an art exhibition. Uh, you know, it's, uh, some murals that we can appreciate passing by. It's a walk by, drive by appreciation and exhibition. Tell us about it. Well, over the years, I mean, for some decades now, I, it's part of my repertoire of expression. I have produced a number of murals. And in recent years, the ones that I have done are carnival inspired at some level. A lot of the imagery is carnival inspired, even if the interpretation in the work is not literal. There's very little opportunity for me to display these things. And since there's, with the lockdown with COVID, and since I have very little opportunity to show them, it seemed to me that the cancellation with Carnival, this was a good opportunity to make up a little bit for that chance. You know, and uh, where, where do you get the, the ideas and the inspiration for, you know, for such, for such large works? Because your, mur your murals are quite large. Uh, you know, where do you get the inspiration for it? All right, yeah, they vary from, let's say, 50 feet to 110 feet in length. The inspiration is it's a question I get asked by students all the time. The inspiration really comes from living, from responding to life, from responding to events in your personal life, domestic life, social life, and observation of national and international events. That is where the inspiration comes from. It's, it's not this romantic thing that, you know, one mystically gets inspired. Right. It, it, it comes from responding emotionally to events and from thinking about them. And, you know, you, you're responding, but you responded in such a big way. Why did you make the murals that big? You know, you said 100 feet by something. Yeah. Well, some, some ideas are big ideas. I mean, if I, if I am producing a landscape painting of, let's say, Maracas Bay or something, while the, the celebration of Maracas is, would be important, there's no need to go large to express that, you know, feeling of celebration of our seascape. If I'm looking to say things, complex things, multi-layered emotions about the human condition or the state of the country, big ideas like that, where the human figure is going to, is going to figure prominently, then the need to go big becomes, you know, necessary. So that's why these are large like that. You see, that's, that's why you're an artist and, you know, not everybody can do it because, you know, that level of thought and and the process and, and the way in which you choose to express is not something that just anybody can do. You know, so how long does it take to paint such a large piece? <laughs> well, it can take anywhere from six months to 10, 15 years. Um, what happened in this case, this is under lockdown and COVID in the past year, because of the absence of the normal disruption that one gets in daily life because one was left um, largely alone with one's thoughts it made it possible for me and others i imagine to to become more acutely aware of things and to have the time to focus on those things so yeah. it meant that with all that extra time i could devote every day, hours and hours and hours to producing it. And that way, it, the work moves and advances more quickly. And uh, why specifically the, the focus of Carnival? You said it's, it's not all um, 
it doesn't all focus on carnival, but why specifically in, in many of your murals, you, you, you focus on carnival in this work? Well, it's, it so happens that since my childhood and the deep impression that carnival has, has etched on my mind and my clear, clear memories of costumes and what they represented from the traditional to the current and all those things associated with this massive event monumental event called carnival that carnival plays an important part in what i try to capture i mean for example i have produced thousands of drawings on, in pan yards hundreds and hundreds of carnival on the road so it's constantly there in my memory bank of images to draw from um what what connected carnival more with the ideas in these paintings is that during this time and before i was constantly aware of events happening at a rapid pace one replacing the other each one in people's minds and politicians minds and commentators minds and the media's mind and so on. So the, I had this sense of a continuous parade of passing costumes, of acting going on, almost as though life was a stage. And there, there are the actors in it, the public, the politicians, the commentators. And to me, the best way to capture this was to use the idea of carnival, of something passing like a parade. So this costume to that costume, this costume for that event and so the thing continues and that's how i saw it and um is is that part of the reason why it's like a uh, set up like a, a drive by or walk by exhibition well that's part of the reason because when you walk by or, or drive by it's like you are a spectator yeah in a continuous carnival parade um i hope it's like that and i hope it's effective but all I can do is hope. <laughs> <laughs> I knew doing this art thing long time. I believe you would have uh, had, had you. I believe you would have hit the nail on the head um, in this instance, you know, as well, making it almost almost a parade. You know, as, as you said, you're passing by and you're able to see it uh, progress from one to the next and all. And uh, of course, we can enjoy that exhibition, um, you know, even right now. Uh, before we go, uh, does your portrayal of Carnival seek? to offer any commentary on the festival or creative expression itself? No, no, my focus, you know, is not on, on the festival, but on using the festival as a metaphor for, for expressing my feeling and emotions about other things happening in life. So it's not a commentary on carnival. Yeah. Although occasionally there might be a references in, in, in one of them, I end the mural with um, a, a, a costume looking like Tan Tan, who is pointing a finger at somebody who is Beyonce. And that was a, an indirect and oblique reference to the stir that Beyonce caused when she was here around carnival time and how people were so preoccupied with it, almost competitively. So the, yeah. It, it's multi multi-layered, and I expect people will bring their baggage to it, mm -hmm. their interpretation to it, and so on. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. oh, by the way, it's, it's not up yet. I'm putting it up today. Right. So it will be up from, let's say, this evening and from tomorrow. I mean, all right. So we have a lot to look forward to. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'm going to drive by and take a look at all the wonderful work. And I want to thank you for joining us this morning and giving us your time and thank you for the year of art, or the years, I should say, of art. So thank you so much, Jackie Hingston, for joining us this morning. My pleasure. My right. pleasure. Have thank a good you. one.